search marriage. It was very interesting. All the different cult all over the world, marriage is very it's, it's very it's very important to society to, to every society and every culture. Mm -hmm. But it's looked at in all different ways. From you can have ten wives to you can have only one. <laughs> to yeah. you can never divorce. You can divorce all you want. <laughs> you can pick a new wife every full moon. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting. But so I, you know, I can only speak, I can only express myself from my culture, mm. you know. And my culture is really interesting and different because I'm from Devon Islands and I've lived here my whole life. And it's definitely like out of all my friends, I think one got married and she eloped. You know, like she didn't even have a full like she still did it untraditionally, you know. Yeah, really, yeah. yeah, so it's not been a big part of my world marriage in general. Um, cousins get married. Yeah, I guess one of my one cousin got married. Um, but anyway, so I just looked upon marriage and I thought about culturally the the whole chest is a was a big part of our uh, 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 in the past part of a lot of cultures in Europe and in, in you know North America of uh, year uh, yesteryear I guess and I bet you that I bet you families still do it. They get you know you get passed down some heirloom when you're married you know from your family you know. But, and so I just thought, started collecting things that I thought, what would you put in a hope chest, you know? But it wasn't for your hope chest. No, it was just that. like a my heart hope chest. You yeah, know? Yeah. Like, you know, I don't know. So I found this old 50s um, book, you know, from when, when marriage was really important culturally in the past hundred years. I think the 50s was probably it. The last time it was really, 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 really important. It's the golden age things. of marriage. Yeah, things have kind of busted yeah. out since then. Yeah. And then I changed the cover of the Vogue yeah. magazine to be vague. Because <laughs> I just thought that was funny. <laughs> I just find it very vague and culturally inappropriate a lot of times for reality, for the reality that I see around me. Um, and, you know, a little, the hope of the children little dress, you know, I know culturally a lot of times it's the hope for boys, but, you know, I don't know, for some reason, it just reminds me, I'm a woman, so I, and I don't have a daughter, so it's kind of something personal kind of thing, and then, uh, I love sewing basket, and these things are so interesting, you know, you can't go in a store and get most of the stuff anymore, mm -hmm. it's a different, we're living in a different time, right, but they're so strong, like, they're so well made, you know, like, Especially the face, you know, culture of the fifties was a time when things were made to last, you know. So I find that interesting with the amount of junk that we make now that are just not, <laughs> you know. And that these, you know, and it was another like glimmer of of how my process works, which is unexplainable. Is you know, I walk into the secondhand store. Uh, two, three days before this piece needs to be done, and there is a cedar hope chest that there would be no way I could ever make in three days. Or, you know, and it's $35, and I'm like, I got $35, you know, and there it is. And it's perfectly easy to print upon, you know, in my print class. I just take the lid off and print away on it, you know. So my work is kind of like supported by an unknown force of the universe and synchronicity, too, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's very, that to me, it's just my own special thing. And my work will even support, like, I even am so trusted in, in process sometimes that I will just, like, if I'm in a piece and I can't figure out which direction to go, I will just write things like, put, put green in it, put, um, cut it, cut it up, you know, paint over it, like, and I'll put it in a bag and I'll just reach into the bag and I will do whatever it says on the piece of paper, even if it gets me into trouble because it, then it's stretching me in a way that I have to fix something. And my friend Keith has told me what, that there's actually, he's worked a lot with um, musicians, he was a producer, and he said that there is actually a creative process named for this. Yeah. But it's used when you go to a creative coach. You know, when, when the stars are all messed up and can't think of new ideas, <laughs> this is one of the techniques, and he has a name for it, but of course I've it written somewhere and I don't remember. 